when it comes to tax time, most can agree. It's not something we look forward to, and overall, it's generally the process that's the most painstaking. Jim Lavery, he's the vice president of credit services at Desert Schools Federal Credit Union, and he's got some great tips to help you save precious time and keep your stress low during right. tax season. Everybody's amped up a little bit. All right, so we've got four simple tips. We're going to start with number one. You say get organized. Yeah, definitely get organized. It's the, the key to really be successful in the tax preparation time because uh, you really want to avoid the mistakes that you could make if you try to cram everything in at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do it really right at the last minute, you're, you're prone to make some mistakes, which could cost you later. So how early should we start getting organized? I like started my taxes last weekend. Oh. I'm not done, but I started the last <laughs> week. So, so just really get ahead because that'll save some anxiety as Absolutely. well. All right, so tip number two, you say uh, gather important documents ahead of time. Absolutely, yeah, there's a lot of information that you need to gather ahead of time. And th those things are things like your social security numbers for your the people that you're filing for, um, the your income statements, your W-2s, your 1099s, any K-1s for partnerships that you might be a part of, uh, personal expenses that you've had. Mm -hmm. One great tip for that is to go back to your, through your uh, transaction records of the last year, and your credit cards and your bank statements, mm -hmm. and just to see if there's anything there that might be a deductible. That's really smart yeah. to do. And, and don't and forget your charitable deductions. Right, because so many, how many times have you seen people go, oh, wait a minute, I did donate, exactly. and it's a little bit late, it's and that, that can add up. Yep, absolutely, definitely can. Yeah, right. you want to make sure you capture all those. All right, so let's go to tip number three, review last year's tax return. How helpful is that? Yeah, it's really good because there might be things like interest and dividends, things that you, you did last year, that you submitted last year, that you may have forgotten about, that you want to make sure you apply this year. Okay, so just kind of giving you an overall review of what you've done. Maybe exactly. some mistakes you've made, exactly. maybe something that worked well for you. And you say consider hiring a professional. So a lot of people don't want to go through the expense of that, but you say they can really help you out of some, some sticky situations. Sure, there's definitely times when it's appropriate to bring in a professional. Things like if you do uh, complex investment transactions of sorts or things like that that you might to do, if you had a significant income change or significant expense uh, changes this year, if you bought or sold a home, um, if you rented a home, like a, if you have an investment property, things like those, that might be a time that you might want to consider getting a tax professional. That's a really good point because some of these investments that we make throughout the year, it, it's a lot and the tax codes could be different, right? Absolutely, yep, absolutely. And going to someone who's reputable and a professional can make it a little bit easier. Like, Desert Schools stressful. Federal Credit Union, the largest credit union in Arizona, tell us how you guys are different and what makes customers keep coming back. Well, I've, I've been with Desert Schools for over 11 years. I just love the place. And Desert Schools, the, the company itself is uh, a not-for-profit organization, so we have a, a volunteer board that handles all of our decisions or helps us make with all our decisions. Uh, again, we're not-for-profit, so all of our income that we make is generated to give back to the either the community or back to the employees or back to our membership. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. That's wonderful. And customers know you guys, Absolutely. and you yeah. guys know the customers, which is awf awfully important. And at tax season, how can you guys help us out? Well, we can definitely help you out with making sure that you get your refunds correctly. The one thing that a lot of members uh, struggle with is to make sure that they've got the right routing number and mm. account number to make sure their refund goes into the right account. Gosh, and so. Go look, go look on the website for the yeah. routing number and then look in online banking for your account number. Make sure you've got that. Jim, there's so many things you just brought up that I'm like, oh shoot, check, check, check. I gotta go do that. Got some time still, yes, not much. That's true. Great information. Thank you, Thank you so much. For more uh, time-saving tips for tax time, give Desert Schools a call. 602-433-7000, the number there on your screen. You can also visit their website. It's an incredible website, desertschools.org. And in our Friday financial fitness tip sponsored by Desert Schools, help protect your identity and financial stability. Do not provide your personal information to anyone requesting it from you. This goes for phone calls, emails, and texts. For more financial help, call or visit a Desert Schools branch near you, 602-433-7000, or visit DesertSchools.org.